my, my morning starts at 4 a.m. Um, and it ends at 6, 6 a.m. So it's about a two hour slot that I take for myself uh, in various developments. I try to work on mind, body, heart, and soul. So all four of that items come together for potential successful or at least a successful strive to your best version. So my, my journey started really after the first failure. Um, I got into the, the I've been become a student of the work of Robin Sharma mainly, a, lot, a few other people as well, but Robin Sharma mainly. Um, and he, I mean, a lot of his work is, uh, is regarding inner work and your inner work mm -hmm. obviously shows the results in your outer world. Um, so, and I basically start, one of his big things are, um, uh, the 5 m club right as early riser and i know you also an early riser i saw some videos that you jog in the pitch pitch dark yeah black uh, night um so um that's basically my time that i started I, I think maybe i must run you through my my morning routine because i think during that you will find a lot of the mm -hmm. nuggets that you maybe are looking for and we can kind of delve deeper into that if you don't, if you if you'd like yeah that's fine so so my, my morning starts at 4 a.m. Um, and it ends at 6, 6 a.m. So it's about a two hour slot that I take for myself uh, in various developments. I try to work on mind, body, heart and soul. So all four of that items come together for potential successful or at least a successful strive to your best version. Um, so my morning before starts with the night after or, or the night before um and really with we're trying to to not always obviously not go to sleep too late um i do affirmations vi visualization bef just before i go to sleep and also just as i wake up and I, I found that to be a very powerful tool for me it might not work for everybody but that definitely worked a lot for me it's something that you really just influence your subconscious mind and you start vibrating certain energy to attract certain things. So really worked for me, but it's very effective. The last 10, 20 minutes before you go to sleep and the first 10, 20 minutes before you, and as you wake up. Um, further on, I like meditation. I do a lot of journaling. I write down a lot. When you start having scattered thoughts and we actually put it down on paper, a lot of things that we do becomes clearer. And it might be financial planning. It might be something that, that's on my heart that's either good or bad. Um, gratitude works a lot for me to be great. Just be grateful, grateful people, um, great, uh, grateful people, happy people, happy people, great successful businesses. So just be grateful for the small things. Um, I think especially during lockdown, it was very powerful. Um, and then I do various things, online courses, um, read a lot of books, especially, I mean, obviously dedicated to personal development in various fields. Um, currently, I, I read uh, very spir spiritual kind of books to, um, to really boost my, that, that side of my, my soul, my soul set, my soul side of, of everything, to do, to do the deeper work. And then uh, half, half past five to six, I do heat training. I like my heat training to, to really get my body going for the, for the, for the day. It really sets my, my day up. Um, so I do various um, uh, heat, heat the bar, that kind of training every day. And then okay. lastly, at 6 a.m. I do a cold shower every day. Cold shower has been very, very good for me. Um, there's obviously a, a lot of health benefits from that, but I think mostly it was for me to conquer my fear to every day to, to jump in the cold shower. So it's really subconsciously built that kind of behavior and thinking of every day, go out and be out of your comfort zone, do mm -hmm. difficult things, do, do things that scares you. So um, that that's basically my morning routine that, that really serves me well for the last at least three years. Nice. And I, I like the fact that you said there that, you know, you do the cold shower because you know that by the time you have to do the cold shower, your mind will work against you. Your mind will say, ah, oh, do I really have to do this right now? And it's about following through on your commitments. And that's how you develop um, discipline. That's how you develop the confidence to actually win throughout the day and throughout your life. Because you know that you, even if I don't feel like doing something, 
I'm still doing it. So all these things are setting you up for success, like you said. Hi, Yasba Sonia. I just wanted to remind you about the Daily Entrepreneur Tips series. It's a business growth series for entrepreneurs and contains financial information and also information to grow you as a person and your business because we will never grow our business any higher than we grow ourselves. So click on the link below and I will send you daily information to grow you as a person and your business and it's for 365 days of the year.